Aha! Hello! A very good evening to you. Welcome, 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 I say. Lovely to have you with us. It's Scotty McClue, and we are, of course, live on Facebook Live. That's the big one, the one everyone's talking about, and the one everyone is watching. Uh, just a quick pop-up show, number 97. I really want to talk to our American audience tonight, and uh, I'd quite like to find out what you think of the summit with President Trump. And Kim, so there you are. Has President Trump completely got rid of his critics? Has he confounded his critics, I ask you, by this wonderful thing that's been happening there? So excellent stuff. Uh, just let me know what you think about that. There we are. And uh, what we'll do is we'll see if we've got that. So we're going to go live also on all sorts of devices tonight. Marvelous stuff. There we are. Uh, Gordon Sterling and Mike Henfield have joined me. Jim Fridley says, hello. Hello, James. Lovely to have you with us tonight. You're watching Scotty McClue. And uh, we're running both devices tonight. This is show number 97. As you know, we're looking at optimal points for audience we're looking at equipment etc etc hopefully you'll take advantage of the paypal and the gofundme and pop in a couple of quid so we can get sorted they're all very exciting says james ridley very exciting indeed but what i want to know james is has trump actually confounded all of his critics very important there you are you're spoiling us this week mr McClure says Gary Crossan. I am indeed Gary. I am spoiling you. There's no doubt about that. Hey, Scotty, says Gary Roche. Dinky do. Uh, all very exciting. Hello there, Sal, says Joseph Gibbons. Dinky do. Trump has done very well, says James. Now, if our American audience are joining us tonight, Fantastic stuff. Do pop your tuppens worth in. Sorry, your dimes worth in. Very, very important. And uh, hello, Sir Jim Clark. Hello, Jim Dinky Do. You're watching Scotty McClue. And we are, of course, live on the big one Facebook Live. Never a dull moment, Michael Palmer. Me, Dinky Do. Oh, Scotty, long time no here, says Andy Seeger. Marvelous, Andy. Lovely to have you back with us. I say, very long time no here. How's it hanging? It's hanging absolutely brilliantly. Tremendous stuff. So there we go. Uh, John Bunn's watching. Dinky Do. John, lovely to have you with us. And uh, as you know, we are are building up the Scotty McClue shows, finding the optimum points, refining work in progress. And of course, we'll be running on more than one platform. We're running on Facebook Live. We've also been running on Periscope. We'll run on YouTube. We've been running on YouTube as well. If you're a business person, join me on LinkedIn. Get on to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel and make sure you subscribe. We need to have millions of subscribers, 7 billion people in the world. So we've got a bit of a mountain to climb. Good evening, Mr. McClure. What's the topic? Says Michael Paul McNay. We're talking about two things. Brexit. Should Brexit just be stopped? There we are. Go back to the EU. Rescind Article 50. Say the country didn't vote for it. Just over half did on some pretty dodgy gen. All right. So there we are. Hi, Scott. It's early days. I think both of them will go back on their word, says Stuart Wilson. Oh, Stuart, we need a bit more confidence than that. One of our main topics tonight, folks, is um, has Trump confounded his critics? So there you are. Have they been, uh, have they gone? Bring back the Scotty McClure show, says Paul Francis Carroll. We will, Paul Francis Carroll, not a problem. Lovely to hear from you and Dinky Doo from Scotty McClure, one of the world's top organists there. Tremendous. I, of course, have the uh, pipe organ beside me if you would like a rendition. So there you are. Uh, Derek's watching tonight. Lovely to have you with us, Derek. Excellent. Edith and James Cotters, good, good. Come and join Scotty McClure. Uh, used to never miss you on Scott FM. Great to hear you again, says Alistair Monroe. Alistair, it's lovely to be back with everybody here tonight. I can see tremendous stuff. So there we go. And I'm running two devices tonight, folks. So we'll see if something drops out. Just stick with me. Don't dash off because I shall be making sterling efforts to get back in touch with you. Our main show, as you all very well will know, Sunday night, 9 o'clock sharp live here on Facebook Live. But we had a pop-up last night. And uh, tonight, another pop-up, show number 97. 
Who'd have thought it? 97 shows. Well, there we are. Bring back the McClue show. Now, Paul Francis Carr, when you say bring back the McClue show, what exactly do you mean by that? That's what we need to find out. Terrific. Stuart's joined us and Jim, lovely, lovely. Excellent to have you with us. The great Ronnie Stevenson's watching, a tremendous man, a man of the West Coast, a fisherman, I see. Or should I say an angler? Yes, an angler. So there we are. Um, and excellent stuff. I've got your comments coming up in front of me, so I will tell you what is what as time goes on. Now, does anybody have a split screen? That's the first thing I'm asking you tonight. Also, can you hear me and see me both clearly? There we are. We want to know about that as well. And Dinky Doo. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. A Scotty McClue pop up just when you're least expecting it. That is intentional, of course. There should be a little bit of warning coming, but uh, I'm not sure if it's gone through there. I'm just having a look at this device here. Uh, we've got several devices running here, of course, at least two right now. There you are. Fiona's joined us. Are you on every night now, Scotty, says Ronnie Stevenson. No, Ronnie. Just, just a quick pop-up. We're just uh, sampling the audience. You've got work in progress, and we're letting the audience sample and stay clue show. So there we go. Marvelous stuff. Yes, says Andy Singer. 97 shows. Wow. Nearly as old as you. Thanks, Andy. You always were a great man for uh, bolstering McClure's confidence. <laughs> Excellent stuff. So there we go. And if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. Now, as soon as you get the chance, guys, share and share and share. And tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure. Live on Facebook Live, just for you, saying Dinky Do. So there we are. Andy McClory's joined us. Welcome, Andy. Lovely to have you with us, I see. Two platforms to see which one will get you the most views. I know your game, says Andy Seeger. You do, Andy Seeger. You do know my game. But we want everybody to join in the Scotty McClure show, not just for the faint-hearted. So there we are. Everybody, I say. Uh, can you see the two devices running? Does anybody have different devices running? So we've got uh, this one here. There we are. And this one here. There we are. Okay, excellent stuff. And uh, we'll see what's what. Robert McHart has joined us. Welcome, Robert. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, you're all watching Scotty McClue. Um, have I got, I'm just checking that I've got everything on the right settings. So there you are. We did a pop up uh, last night and um, we got one viewer. And I wondered why I'd got one viewer. But I realized it was on privacy. So there you are. So nobody was actually able to see it. Alan Morrison's watching. Thank you, do, Alan. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue, and we're live on Facebook Live. And uh, folks, also get yourselves on to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel. Just put in Scotty McClue YouTube channel into your search engine, and up I shall pop. There's 400 videos. There's a back catalogue there for you, for your edification and delight. Don't miss a second of them, because this week, uh, in fact, well, it's next week, I think, Mike Henfield will back me up here, March the 26th anniversary of the Scotty McClue show. How amazing is that? Uh, we're working, of course, to get the phones working too. We're looking at doing stuff in Messenger so you can come and join me interactively. Right, we'll look at that as well. What was your resolve from the East Coast? Bonnie Montrose, says Robert McHardy. Dinky do, Robert. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue, as you know, live on the big one Facebook Live. I see. I'm just watching everything coming up. Stephen McFarlane's joined us. Uh, welcome, Stephen. Lovely to have you with us. I see. Dinky do, says Robert McHardy. And dinky do to you now. Let's get some meat on the bone here. If you'll pardon the expression, let's find out what you all think about uh, um, Donald Trump and Kim getting together. Uh, Paul Francis Carl, I'll be challenging to you, Mitty, for a show de fake, and I'll expose you. Paul Francis Carroll, I can't wait. That would be fantastic. So there you are, and I shall expose you as well. So there you are, people in glass houses. Bodie Connolly, evening, Scotty, dinky do. Uh, Berta King Patton's joined us. Welcome, Berta King Patton, a very, very fine lady indeed. Uh, Thomas Hall and Paul Sefton, Ross Fleming, Jackie Blair, and Neil Emsley. 
Welcome, welcome, welcome to every single one of you. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do, you're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster, saying dinky do to every one of you. Now, a bit of a shift. You're used to hearing me. Now you can see me as well. That's not obviously the best thing for you, but it helps me if I can see you. You're making a habit of this, mate. Good to see you, says Paul Sefton. What we're doing, Paul, we're uh, working out when's the optimum time to pop up, when the audience are there. Um, we're doing it um, unannounced at the moment, just to see what's what. Scotty, you're a legend, says Tam Burrell. So are you, Tam. And dinky do to you from Scotty McClue. Lovely to have you with us. If you come on, guys, you'll get a wee shout out. Marvellous, marvellous, marvellous. So there you are. I've got a few devices running here tonight, so I don't know if the internet connection will stand it. It's your own show. You can do as much exposing as you want, says Alistair Madrol. Thanks, Alistair. And dinky do, you are quite right. You can do what you like on your own show. The only thing is I've blocked a few Facebookers for swearing because there's no need for it, right? I was explaining to the independence mob. Now, I'm not political, as you all well know, but uh, Scotland would do very well on its own, away from Westminster, making its own decisions, and the economy would boom. That's what I say, but I'm not political, of course, and uh, we must do it under the crown, so we must keep the monarchy. Uh, very, very important. And getting that message across to one or two of um, the nationalists is, uh, is not easy, but um, I'm quite happy to explain it. I shall tell you that for nothing. So there you go. Daniel Foster joined us. I propose a live recital between you and I, matey boy. Choose your tune, sonny. Choose your tune. And we will see what is what. Susan Forrest just joined us. Dinky do. Welcome to her. A fine, fine lady. Excellent stuff. Down in Lancashire there. Or up in Lancashire, if you live below Lancashire, if you live in London. Um, Scotty McClure is also a creative and cultural ambassador for the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. But things are a changing. There's um, stirrings in Ireland that it may unify. So there you are. And there's stirrings that Scotland may go independent because of being broken through Brexit that's happening right now. So there you are. So by all means, the UK can leave the EU, but there won't be much of it left to leave, I say. There's Ying Ong. Ying Ong, hello. Han Hao. So there you are. Han Hao and Ni Hao. Excellent. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome. Welcome, Ying Ong. Come on, Scotty, get stuck into Paul, says Gregor Fleming. I will. He can choose his tune if he wants to challenge McClure to a duel on the pipe organ. No problem at all. I will give him back to Kata and Fugue. I will dance to his Duke of Perth. See how we get on with that. So there you go. Who else have we got here? Scotty, you just want your cake and eat it. You want independence, but you want to keep the monarchy. Yeah, but there's no connection, Andy Seeger, if you think about it. One is the Union of the Crowns in 1603. The other is the Union of the Parliaments in 1707. So the monarchy is very important. The crown is our symbol of authority. The same way in America, it's the stars and stripes. In this country, it's the crown. That's our symbol of authority. That's our tribal chief, all right? And you don't want to lose that system. But uh, what we will do, of course, it's one thing to break up the parliaments because they're struggling together anyway. I mean, there's a tremendous amount of ignorance in Westminster about Scotland and about the power of Scotland. When Scotland does Westminster a massive favour, bringing £40 billion at least every year year. Get practicing your circle of fifths and swell to great, says Paul Francis Carroll. Ah yes, what do you work, says Ying Ong. I am the world's top broadcaster, Ying Ong. I am a uh, first lord of the internet. That's what I work at. Hi, Scotty, and a kiss to Susan Forrest. Hi, Susan Forrest, and a kiss to you. Mwah. So there you are, Ying Ong. He uh, asked me the question, yes. 
I have given you the answer. Ying Hong, who have we got here? My opinion, I think a second independent referendum will happen if Brexit goes ahead. Well, the Brexiteers are the separatists. They are known as separatists, the Brexiteers. They're breaking up Britain. So there we are. Scotland, of course, has the old alliance with Europe and with France. Uh, Alison Monroe, what are we at here? My opinion, second referendum will happen if Brexit goes ahead. Look how many companies are now announcing they're leaving the UK for the EU. This is what I say. Uh, Charles Vidar Toccata. So there we are. Ah, yes, the Vidar Charles. So there you are, Charles Vidar Toccata. So there we are, Vidars, Vidars Toccata. Oh, Charles Vidar. Ah, I'm with you now. Sorry. I was wondering what uh, what Charles was to do. But Charles Vidar's Toccata. Yes. Ah, now there you are. Bit of footwork in that, Paul Carroll. Uh, so there we are. But we'll manage. Paul Francis Carroll there, challenging McClue to a duel on the pipe organ. Swell to greet. Solo, choir, swell, and great, the great organ. Excellent stuff. So there we are. The Commonwealth got independence and yet all kept the monarchy, says Alison Monroe. Alison Monroe, what a man of wisdom you are. You're spot on. One second, guys. Quick comfort break. I just dodged to the side. Give my pus, my fissog, a bit of a mop down because uh, these beautiful summer nights it's roasting hot in the studio. I can tell you that for nothing. Richard McCusker, Elder McGuinness and Gary Crossan, lovely to have you with us. Alison Monroe, that's a very, very good point. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClue. We're live with the midweek pop-up. And, uh, of course, not quite as big as the big Sunday night shows, but uh, they're announced and tried and tested. That's a winner. Nine o'clock sharp, Facebook Live, each Sunday evening. McClue will be there taking your shout-outs and your messages. Tonight, I'd like our American audience to discuss with me and to debate with me, right, what they think about the Trump-Kim summit, all right? Also, what do you all feel about Brexit? Do you think the Leave campaign gave us duff gen? Do let me know. So much happening, so little time to do it in. Welcome, 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 I say. We'll probably not get the full hour tonight. Martin Monaghan, the 1707 Act of Union, yes, is the one causing all the problems, Scotty. So they were, oh no, sorry, the one causing all the problems, Scotty, is spot on. Yes, the 1707 Act of Union, I think by law, and they, they do need to be very, very careful with this here. I think you'll find that any institution brought in after the Act of 1707, the Act of Union, is 50-50. So Scotland should have a 50-50 say on everything that's going on in this country. So no, the British Prime Minister is not necessarily the one in charge. The Scottish First Minister and the British Prime Minister should be on a level playing field. So there you are. The plan for independence was always to keep the Queen as head of state, says Gary Cross, and I know, but one or two of the hardened Nats don't seem to understand that, Gary. Very, very interesting. There you are. Scott Wishers joined us. Lovely to have you with us, Scott. Dinky do. You're watching Scotty McLuhan. We are, of course, live on the big one. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue broadcasting live on Facebook Live just for you. Dinky do. Now, can we also have some sharing? And can you tap, 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 tap on your screens? So there we are. How do we share here? Let's just see what we've got. See if we can do a little bit of sharing. I'll not be on too long, guys, so don't panic. Don't think, oh, my goodness, is he going to be on all night? Is Scotty McClure going to be on all night? I ask you. Uh, I'm just going to see what I can do sharing-wise here. So stick with me. I've got another device. I have a cunning plan, I say. Wonderful stuff, a cunning plan. Now, this was quite unannounced tonight. That's intentional. Very, very important to get that across to you. Quite intentional because uh, I want to see what kind of audience is out there and we want to get an optimum time. So there we are. Roberto White and Hunter George have just joined us. Welcome, guys. Come on and say your piece. You're watching Scotty McClure. We're on the big one. So there we are. I'm just going to share this. Uh, it lets you know that I'm live sharing now. That's it. That's shared. 
Right, uh, so what have we got here? There's last night, 1,336 of you joined me last night. And uh, Sunday night, um, one of the shows for Sunday night, 4,075 of you have joined us. So that's good. These are good starts, guys. Spread the word. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue. Broadcasting live on Facebook Live, the big one. You can make me to work, says Ying Ong. Uh, no, Ying Ong, I am, am uh, employed by myself uh, nationally and internationally. So there you are. I help big people out. So there we go. Very, very good. Right, let's see if we can share this, guys. Well, there we go. If this pops up and we can check it out now. Also check out the YouTube. Very, very important. I'll just do that. And uh, I've shared that we're live now, if you can do the same. Who have we got here? Okay, says Ying Ong. Yes, sorry, Ying Ong. If I could, let me know where you are again, though. Let me know what country you are in, Ying Ong. Red hair and freckles, women, Scotty, says John Kinnear. Red hair and freckles, women. Well, we like red hair and freckles, women. We like all sorts of color, don't we? Uh, Mike McCabe, dinky do, lovely to have you with us. Come and join us. You're waving to me, so I shall wave back. If you've just joined us, folks, welcome, welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, and we're live on the big one, Facebook Live. Now, my ultimate plan would be to get a television company to take this show live for half an hour, say on a Friday evening between, I don't know, 11 and a half past, and we all interact. We get a phone system going, a communication system, and we see what we can do there. What we need is a communication system. And if we can get that sorted out, then we are laughing. That's what I would say. So come on, Ying Ong, don't give up. Let me know what is what and what you do and where you are, etc., etc. and we'll see. Uh, what we can do for you. Uh, if you've joined us and you're abroad, a great day for America. Uh, would you say that uh, President Trump has confounded all of his critics? There we are. Where do you live in cities, says Ying Ong? Yes, massive city, the second city of the old empire. So there you are. The first city, so they said, was London. The second city, Glasgow. Very, very important. The, uh, the fish and the bell, St. Mungo. So there we are. Glasgow, Glasgow, I say. Ben Lucas has joined us. Thank you, Ben. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, 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 I say. Now, uh, you are watching Scotty McClure. I'm not on for too long tonight. You'll be glad to see. Billy Carl's watching. Thank you, do. Lovely to have you with us. Tell us about you, Yin Ong. Where do you live? Because this show is global, international. Scotty McClue is a global and international cultural and creative ambassador for the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Uh, evening, says D. Gurley. Evening, yes, I see Donald and Kim uh, a week ago. Things are certainly going a bit, <laughs> perhaps, the other chap from Korea. Um, seriously, I watched these two chaps on the telly box and thought they would make a fantabulous advert, and he mentions a big. Um, cosmetics company. So there we are. Brandon McEwen, Brandon, lovely to have you with us, and Dinky Doo. Now, Paul Francis Carroll, I think it's time for me to give you my effort, my contribution on the pipe organ, and you can see what yours is. So here we go. Oh, oh dear goodness. Right. Uh, what have I got for you? Um, pipe organ, full bit, full bit, Paul Francis Carroll, yes. I'll have to swing round, you see, and get myself sorted out a little bit here. Maybe I have to bring the keyboard round so we can see what is what. Uh, I don't know if you can see the keyboard, but you can see me as well. Right, the organ. Um. <laughs> Thank you. 
There we are, Paul Francis Gal, you tell me. You can song me, Si Jing Hong. Yes, Jing Hong, I can song you big style. If you just joined us, folks, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure. We're live on Facebook Live. That's the big one, the one everyone's talking about and the one everyone is watching. Right, says Paul Francis Carroll. Paul Francis Carroll, can you even tell me what that was? Was it recognizable, I ask you? Wow, very nice, says Angela. There you go. No bother. Are we tune on the pipe organ for you, Angela? Wonderful David Young's just joined us. Dinky doo. Can you play the accordion, Scotty? Says David Young. Well, I could probably give you something. And next on board of TV, it stars on Tuesday, says Kieran Fox. Very good, Kieran. Dinky doo. Can everybody share, 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 please? As quickly as possible. Now, the, the accordion, David Young, is uh, slightly more complicated, as you well know. But I happen to have one here. So there we are. So you can't say that I don't spoil you all. So there we are, you see? An accordion, right? Well, it's actually a button key melodion. All right, so it's more of a, a button key melodion than an accordion. And we'll see if we can get a tune for you. We're a bit tight for space here. But we'll see if we can get something for you. You ready? Okay, there's a wee tune for you. And uh, I like the bonnet, Scotty. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated, Gary. Jerry McGurk, I saved up for the bonnet and I purchased it and I will jolly well wear it. So there you go. You can teach me organing, says you know. Yes, you know, of course we can teach you the organ. Not a problem at all. Ye Banks and Braves was always a favorite of mine. On the pipe organ, Kieran Fox, or on the accordion. That's the thing. Ye Banks and Braves of Bonnie Doon. Marvelous, marvelous stuff. I very like this, says you know. Thank you, you know. We like having you on. You haven't told us what country you're from, though, and what part. So that would be lovely. Pop that in. So there you are. Request. Now, uh, folks, can you tell us what do you think of today's news? How do you think Donald Trump um, and Kim got on? Do you think Donald has just wiped out his critics? Do you think that's him now got the big love from everyone? in the United States of America and the rest of the Western world and the Eastern world. So there you are. Uh, is that you getting ready for the 12th of July? No, Jerry, I don't go on holiday um, at all in July. So there you are. The violin is in my case, says Kieran Fox, of course. Kieran Fox, definitely. Uh, Paul Francis Carl Isle, and he's obviously run out of words. So there you are. He doesn't know if he can ever take McClue on with Vidor's Toccato. Uh, there we are. But I'll tell you, I'm uh, rescribing or rehearsing, says Paul Francis Carroll. Right, so what are you going to play for us? Is that you getting, says Jerry McGurk. I don't know what you're on about, Jerry McGurk. I've never heard so much nonsense in all my life. If you've just joined me, you're watching Scotty McClue. Capital S, small C, O, double T, I, E. That's the Scotty, the McClue, capital M, small C, capital C, L, U, E. And we are live on Facebook Live globally. 
and internationally. Tremendous stuff. I'm recording now, says Paul Francis Carroll. Good. Well, we want to hear it, Paul Francis Carroll. I shall tell you that for nothing. So uh, what have we did? We, um, I'm just trying to think, um, what, could I, what could I give you? Uh, what about a little hymn for you, Paul Francis Carroll, just to whet your appetite? Um, and I, I could give you, uh, wait till I see, I could give you, I have to bring the organ up again. Up we come, you see, open sesame. I say, I could give you, uh, Paul Francis Carroll, and I think this is very important, um, a nice little hymn for you. Uh, what about... Uh... What about that? Paul Francis Carroll, see how you get on with that, excellent stuff, and uh, he's recording now, you can play me guitar, says, you know, no, you know, not very good in the guitar, uh, the ukulele, when I'm cleaning windows, ding a ding a ding 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 a ding a ding 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 Gus McPhee, dinky doo, lovely to have you with us, David Young, Jimmy, Willie, Roddy, John and Bill would like a good fishing joke, Scotty. Oh my goodness me, so there we are. I wouldn't know where to start, but if I did start a fishing jokes, I'd have you all hooked immediately. I'll tell you that, so there we go. <laughs> no, never a dull moment. And uh, But what I could do as a fishing joke is play you a few scales. <laughs> a few scales, excellent stuff. Now then, uh, what else have we got here? I'm missing out at all you guys. Gone yourself, Mr. McLeod, says Robert McHardy. Scotty, what do you make of this cannabis oil for um, this week, boys? Don't know what you're saying there, David. It's quite difficult to follow that comment, I say. Now, how are we doing for time? You want rid of me as soon as possible, so it's time to push off very, very soon, but lovely to have you with us, of course. Now, a word to the wise, bit of housekeeping on Facebook here. The first thing is, can I thank you? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Very important for all your sharing, for all the wonderful things that you've done, for telling 10 to tell, 10 to tell, 10 to tell, 10 about Scotty McClure, live on Facebook Live just for you, Dinky Do. A big thank you for that. That's a bit below par, Scotty. Yes, absolutely. Of course it is. Intensely so. 19 years and one month since the first meeting of the Scottish Parliament. There's Alan McLemon, excellent stuff. Trump hasn't really said or achieved anything. The dictator Kim has enjoyed a showcase, despite presiding over some of the world's worst human rights records. Kim says he's not going to test nuclear weapons. 719 days since the EU referendum. Yes, Alan, and uh, not a dish washed or a potty emptied. Amazing, so Brexit, the obfuscation has been tremendous. How long did it take Westminster to wreck the devolution settlement tonight? Says Alan McLennan. I know, I know. Shocking, shocking. Never mind. I mean, the Brexiteers are the real separatists. That's what I can tell you. And uh, right, time for me to ask 15 minutes, says Alan. Absolutely. And uh, I'll just see, I'll get another couple of comments from here. Uh, I was talking about the wee lad from Ireland. Uh, that joke was out of place, P-L-E-I-C-E, -E, and uh, I see 
uh, Annette married Rod. I don't really know what he's talking about there. So there we are. Anyway, time for Scotty McRae to push off. Are we ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of we to say au revoir and a cheerio. I'll play myself out and uh, I'll do it on the pipe organ. Are we ready? <laughs> Stop. So now, Scotty McClure saying thank you very much for watching. Take care of your dear selves and dinky do. Now, we'll have to see if this will finish on time because it doesn't want me to go. So that's that one. We'll see about this one here. Dinky do. We're just going to finish up now, folks. Thanks very much for joining me. It's brilliant. This show is absolutely massive. Tell everybody. And.